Hi, welcome to the Navitas booth at PCAM 2023. Here we are, the Navitas is the company. We have two great brands. Ganfast is our gallium nitride power ICs. Genesic, this is silicon carbide from 650 to 6,500 volts. Let's begin with gallium nitride power ICs. This is our Ganfast range. We're well known in the industry for ultra fast charging. This is a small arrangement of our charger customers. We go from 20 watts to 240 watts in this case. This is a uh, Realme 240 watt charger, charges their new phone in nine minutes. We have Dell, we have Xiaomi, LG, Lenovo. We're in nine out of the top 10 mobile OEMs in mass production today. Recent introductions, starting on this side. This is our GANSense control. Here we've got our traditional GAN power IC with integrated drive and power. We also add a small low voltage silicon system controller. So now it's one unit in a very tiny package there, running at high speed, shrinking things down, making it easy for the customer. This is from 20 watts to about 65 watts. As we go up in power, we also show the reduction in size due to the speed. This is a 45 watt unit running at 50 or 60 kilohertz. This unit, this is 50 watts and it's four times smaller. This is 400 kilohertz operation. So speed drives down the size. Moving to higher powers again, we have examples of a silicon based unit running at low speed. And here we have 120 watts gallium nitride unit. That's three times smaller with a greater voltage range also for the PD 3.1 spec. We have 140, 240, and now 300 watt examples. This unit uses a totem pole PFC with asymmetric half bridge. This one is a totem pole with LLC for different applications. So that's the charging and adapter side of life. Let's go higher power. Higher power means going into home appliance, going into industrial applications. First of all, this example, we're showing how this is our integrated half bridge. So two switches, two drivers, level shifters, all in GAN. On the left-hand side, this is a discrete version from competition. You can see a lot more components, a lot more size, and we get this ringing and glitching because the gate is exposed. For the Navitas parts, the gate is always protected and completely regulated. Examples for home appliance. We're going from silicon 60 watt power supply to GANFAST power supply. A huge reduction in size and increase in system efficiency. Same thing for TVs. These are same performance for an 85 inch 8K TV. The silicon version, very large, also quite thick. This unit with the GANFAST power ICs running high speed, we've gone to planar magnetics for the transformers. So higher accuracy in manufacturing and a very low profile. So TV is a big area for us. Now let's go to spinning wheels and turning motors and pumps. This unit is a three phase motor, goes up to 400 watts using three of our half bridge chips, which also include current sensing, lossless current sensing. You can see a tiny, tiny size compared to traditional silicon equivalents using IGBTs and a big heatsink. So 400 watts on that case. This one we're now at 1000 watts and here we've split out three phases, high side, low side with current sensing. And now let's move to the other high power. Now let's talk about data center. Going from low power to high power. These are examples for data center applications. On this side, we have a high voltage, 400 volts down to 12 volt converter. The old way of doing it in silicon, this is a 750 and it's called a full brick. Very large, very heavy. This is instead of 750 watts, this is now 1000 watts in a quarter brick using gallium nitride. So high frequency really shrinks those magnetics. As we go into the AC-DC world, we go from a big old silicon device to something that's half the size. This also exceeds the European Union specification for efficiency, the titanium plus. 
That's a 96% plus peak efficiency. And our customers have told us that this Navitas unit is lower system cost than the old silicon. Moving into the world of automotive. In this case, we have a 400 volt battery charger, but not just one function. This is a three in one capability. The first one is going from AC to 400 volts, charging the battery. The second one is going from 400 volts back to AC in case your home loses power. And the third function, 400 volts down to 12 volts for your radio, your seat motors, and the rest of the navigation in your car. This is around three times smaller than the equivalent silicon converter. So a great example of EV uh, integration. Now this is a 400 volt example. If you have a 800 volt battery, now we're in the world of silicon carbide. And Navitas, at the end of last year, um, brought on the Genesic team. Genesic, amazing technology for silicon carbide. From 650 volts to 6,500 volts. The broadest range of silicon carbide in the world. This week, we're launching our generation five 650 volt merged pin Schottky diodes. These are perfect for hard switch or soft switched PFC in data center and home appliance motor drive applications. This is the first time we've put our silicon carbide devices in the small QFN package. It's a very small surface mount, very high efficiency system. Going from four amps up to 24 amps, including a common cathode 650 volt Schottky for interleaved CCM PFC. We're going past some demonstration hardware, some test boards, really proving our technology. And this kind of board we've been using for a head-to-head -head comparison with our competition. On this placard, we can see a test board. This is a half bridge running at 150 kilohertz. The real message is that this is our friends in competition running hot, 124 degrees centigrade. Our unit, 98 degrees. That's 25 degrees C lower heat, lower temperature. That means more efficiency. That means three times longer lifetime expected. So amazing with our trench assisted planar gate shot key te uh, silicon carbide technology. And moving into real industrial areas. We'll start with a low power. This is a 45 watt power supply using our 1700 volt silicon carbide. Very small, very cost effective. This is good for industrial applications where you need a little bit of power for monitoring or Wi-Fi connection or a display. <clears throat> Going into higher power now, this is our entry into the module market. And also, uh, we are very big on die sales. So selling out the bare chip to customers, again, from 650 volts to 6,500 volts, the broadest range. And now we're talking really high power, high voltage applications, wind turbines, railway locomotives, very high voltage grid tied applications. So this is the entire range that we have today at PCIM 2023, all the way from 20 watts to 20 megawatts. Thank you for watching. I'm Steve from Navitas.